It has been touted as the best way to drive the country into industrialization. Development without energy, it's impossible. But questions have been raised on whether Kenya will have the capacity or will to enforce regulation on the use of nuclear energy. The law really as a country, I can't say that uh, we have a death of law. What we would need is uh, better supervision, better enforcement, but also uh, the political will to appreciate that we are dealing with a high voltage uh, scenario and therefore we need to employ a lot more vigilance. Training of personnel to work in the plant will also be a key priority issue. We have uh, to conduct civic education and explain uh, the pros and cons of different designs but what is more important is to explain when you compare nuclear energy for producing electricity and geothermal and coal and wind and solar, how economically each is viable. Kenya also needs to develop and improve its electricity grid so that it can export electricity to neighboring countries. The National Council for Science and Technology is proposing a bill. We have developed nuclear uh, not nuclear, but Atomic Energy Act, which is going to through the parliament, and then it will now incorporate the production of energy through nuclear into our energy mix. The bill proposes the creation of three institutions in preparation for the nuclear age. The institutions are Nuclear Science and Technology Commission or Atomic Energy Commission, which will be the regulatory board in governing use and disposal. The Nuclear Electricity Board, which will be in charge of nuclear electricity production, and the Nuclear Science and Technology Research and Development Institute to facilitate training. Nuclear energy will mainly be produced for industrial purposes. It is advantageous in that it is a clean form of energy. It does not contribute to greenhouse emissions. Besides being cheap, the power outages that occur frequently during the dry season when the water level lowers will be a thing of the past. The government blueprint of driving the country to economic growth by 2030, better known as Vision 2030, envisages a kerosene-free Kenya. It is also hoped that all the paraffin lamps will have been replaced by electricity. When that happens, as per Vision 2030, scenes such as this of the women of Boni community walking long distances in search of firewood to cook their daily meal, and the women and children of Larry who have to walk several miles with wood loads on their backs will hopefully be a thing of the past. Rosalia Pondo, Channel One News.